In this tutorial, I'll explain the way in which Elementor Loop Builder will work starting with version Elementor 3.8 Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can check it out from the link in the description. If you already have Pro, well, this is the feature or this is the functionality coming to Elementor 3.8 Pro. So before understanding the loop builder, you need to understand what a loop is and why you should build a loop. Well, when you build an archive page in theme builder or a search results page, or products archive page basically anything that shows all your items together that is a loop loop is basically a repetition of an element or set of items right so in the archive page you're using a widget called archive post widget essentially what it does is is, is that it loops in all the post elements so it shows all the elements in a loop and that is a loop right every individual item in this loop is called a loop item but with elementor pro you could only customize few things in the loop right so if i click on the archive post widget i could just change the skin maybe change the image show the image or not maybe i could manipulate the columns and stuff like that but what if i want to customize this loop item basically the element of each post custom post type that repeats itself completely from top to bottom. That's what a loop builder is. Essentially, you can build out your design in the loop. So you can design the loop item and the loop will basically be a repetition of this design. So that's what we're going to build. And in order to do that, you need to make sure that you have Elementor Flexbox enabled. So go to your WordPress dashboard, click on Elementor settings and under experiments, make sure that Flexbox container is toggled to active and also loop is toggled to active as well and click on save changes and purge cache if you have to so once you do that again in the theme builder you'll now find something called loop item there are two ways to build a loop you can use the typical theme builder way or you could just go to the page where you want this loop to appear and you could just design it from there it's we'll start with the theme builder method so in the theme builder there's something called loop item I'll just click on this plus button. So essentially we are designing an individual element that appears in the loop and this item or this template can belong to post, custom post type page, whatever post type you want, right? So I'll just click on this plus button and you can see that this is actually using the Flexbox container and on to the right, you have the dynamic widgets and you all, you can also use normal widgets, but you have to make sure that they are using the dynamic options in Elementor. So I'll just click and drag post title. That's great. Let's also drag featured image into the loop. That's great. It's showing up the featured image of post, right? Now I can go ahead and make some changes. Maybe I'll use a custom mask on this. Maybe I'll change it to a blob, something like that. And I'll also click on this image go to content and I'll choose link click on custom URL and under dynamic tags I'll choose post URL basically we're going to use this as our posts loop so I'll publish this element or this loop I'll click on the settings cog and give it a name I'll call it first loop item and I'll click on update again so this is the loop items name now you can create a new page. Let me just create a new page. I'll call it loop test. I'll click on template and I'll choose elementor full width and I'll publish this. I'll click on edit with elementor on your right. You'll have something called loop grid loop grid essentially repeats your loop item. So I'll just click and drag this. This is essentially a grid of the loop items, right? So it's showing me to pick the loop item and on the left hand side, I'll just click this. Our items name is first loop, right? So it's this. So once I pick this, you can see it's getting all my posts and displaying it right here. So it's that easy, right? Now we have a loop and each of the item or image links to the individual post. You can use this as related posts. You can design any kinds of loops using this loop grid. Again, you can change the query from posts to pages to your custom post types as well. So if I change it to products, which is WooCommerce products, again, it gets the product title and also an image of the product and link to the product. So designing a loop is that easy. And if you want to customize the loop, you can hover over any of the element and you can see there's a 
button called edit template just click that and click on save changes and now you are actually editing the loop element itself so I'll just click on this image I'll go to advanced I don't like this mask so maybe I'll change the mask from blob to a circle now it may not appear right now I'll update this and reload this page once and now all the loop elements have circular images instead of the blob so we just created a collection of products loop is essentially a uh, collection right now the second way is to start directly on the page so I'll create a new page so I'll use navigator to do that I'll create a new WordPress page or Elementor page. I'll change the page layout to Elementor full width. Let me just drag in the loop grid. And down here, you see something called create template. You can also pick the existing template or loop item, or you can start from the scratch. You can simply click on create, click on save. And right now you're actually creating the loop itself. Again, I'll do the same thing. I'll use post title. You can drag in any dynamic widgets or you can use the normal widgets and link them to dynamic options. I'll use featured image and maybe I'll use post excerpt as well. I think this post doesn't have excerpt. So again, so I can simply click on save and back and now I'm back and this is the loop. Now I can simply publish this page. I can reload this. So this is the page with the loop elements so you can start and create a loop item in the theme builder interface or you can directly drag in this loop grid widget and start creating using the very own interface now there are a couple of things you need to know about the loop grid widget and the loop item well if you're building archive pages search result pages category pages you still need to use the archive post widget right as you can see here now if i try to use a loop let me actually copy this loop and paste it into that. So I'll just copy this loop, go to this archive post. And if I actually paste it, it's still essentially a loop or the elements within the loop are defined by the queries, right? So if I change this to pages or anything, only those elements are displayed in the loop and there's no way to get elements dynamically that means if i use the loop grid widget in the archive pages such as post archives it won't get all the posts dynamically it still uses the criteria that you define in the query so if i change this to posts again it just gets like six posts whereas the archive post widget you can see that it gets all the posts from the database so that is one drawback at the moment I'm pretty sure that this loop grid widget will essentially replace the archive post widget, right? And this also works with dynamic option. That's the second thing that you need to know, right? So when you're editing a loop grid template, here I just dragged in the post title widget. Instead of that, I can just drag in any widget I want, right? So I can simply use heading widget. I can click on dynamic tags and I can say post title and that will still work, right? I'll click on save and back. Now it gets all the post titles just like that. So it's essentially the same thing. You can use dynamic options also. So you can use these dynamic options to display custom fields for your custom post types, right? So if you're creating a loop grid item for your custom post types, you can use elementor widgets and then use dynamic options to get dynamic fields and the data. So that is the second thing that you need to know about this loop grid. But at the moment, you can only get specified amount of grid items, but not dynamic options such as the post archive widget or archive post widget or those kinds of widgets, right? So in future it will change, but this is a brief overview of Loop Builder coming to Elementor 3.8 Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can get it from the link in the description. And I'm pretty sure that there's one less plugin to use on my website, which is Elementor Skin. I can simply remove Elementor Skin and use this when it supports archive post widgets and all that. But for now, I'll just keep using Elementor Skin. And that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one.
and if you want to learn more about flexbox i have lot of tutorials check out the description for more i'll see you in the next one bye